I want to give you a brief overview of the workspace that you'll be working with in Illustrator and give you some terminology so that as you watch these videos and take this class that you will know kind of what I'm talking about when I, when I use different terms. So this is what Illustrator looks like. We're going to start over here on the right. These are called palettes. Sometimes you just see the icons themselves, um, but if you grab the edge here, you can pull this out and you can see the names of the icons. If you hit this, then it expands everything. Hit that again, it takes it back. You click on one of these, then it'll kind of have a call out of just that particular thing. You can reorganize these. So if you want your artboards and your layers to be together, you can drag and drop like that. You can reorder the way that they are. You can pull these out and move these elsewhere. You can grab these, put them in the same layer. I'm going to pull them out because I like these two to be together. And then I'm going to just change the order there like that. So if you want to add more palettes under Window, um, from Actions down, these are all different palettes. Oftentimes by default, you won't have your character or your paragraph palette open. Um, so you want to grab those. And uh, once you open those, unless you pull them out and hit this little X, then they will be, they'll be there. I like having just the icons there. And we'll put the paragraphs palette just back. So under type, paragraph, grab this guy, shrink him down a little bit. The last thing about palettes is in the upper right hand corner of each palette there is a palette menu. And if you hit that menu it'll give you different options specific to this palette. So for example, the align menu sometimes will look like this. You can go and you can go show options and it adds additional things. So if ever I'm showing you something and you don't see exactly what I'm seeing, go to the palette menu and click Show Options. Uh, just real quickly, these are called jump menus. I don't use these very often, but you, they can be useful. You can you can pull up different things, um, and you then you can jump to those things. Um, you know, you've got some zoom options. I typically use hotkeys for that. This though, this is called your toolbar, and these have all of the different tools that you have available to you. Um, sometimes it, you'll see it double. Sometimes you'll see it single. I prefer it single. If you see a little triangle in the lower right hand corner, that means that there are additional tools that are related to that tool underneath. And so we're looking at the pen tool and we have uh, other tools that are similar to the pen tool like the add anchor point tool, delete anchor point tool, and the convert anchor point tool. Um, type tool, same thing. Different tools here. Now, um, if you double click on one of these tools, some of them will bring up a menu. You have to have something selected. Double click. And this will bring up a menu. Um, you can, and you have different options. And sometimes you can type, type things in to be exactly specific. Um, up here, your options bar, or what's called the control bar, is will change based on which tool you have selected. If I have my um, artboard tool selected, my options change to reflect that. Also, you'll want to pay attention to when I mouse over something, there's a letter in parentheses in the more important tools. And that letter in the parentheses is called a hotkey or a keystroke. And I will call these out as much as I can, but you really want to memorize keystrokes. You really want to get to the point where you don't have to go over to this toolbar too often. Because if I, every time I have to move my mouse, I, I kind of break my flow. But if I can switch back and forth with my pen tool by pressing P, plus, minus, or shift C while I'm drawing something, then uh, you save yourself a ton of time. So that is basically that. When I talk about the menu, I'm talking about these items up here. And uh, the menus are, you know, just like they are in every other piece of software. And the last and final thing is these rulers. These rulers um, will measure uh, things for you. If you right click on them, you can change it to a different measurement. I prefer inches 
or pixels. And this will reset the origin of something. And um, you can kind of go from there. You can also drag guides by just clicking uh, and dragging over and that guide will go anywhere. And then you can control those guys. We'll talk about guides a little bit later. That is Illustrator.